Um, okay, so something else I'm sure we would already know how to do with a GUI. Let's let's see how we can do this with some, some commands. Um, and that would be, what if I wanted to like move one of these things, right? What if I want to do something simple like a cut and paste or a copy and paste, right? Or maybe like a drag and drop. So maybe, maybe I want to take like my last name and I want to put it inside my first name. How, how can I do that? when I have the commands. All I have is the command line, all right? So if I've got two folders, if I've got two items and I wanna be able to move one, maybe we'll do like a cut and paste first. Um, what, uh, what we have to learn about is the move command. All right, so the command that we're learning about is just MV, MV for move. The, the MV will accomplish a cut and paste. Okay, so with Windows, with your GUI, with your with your right click and all that, like that, it takes multiple actions. You got to right click and say cut. You got to right click and say paste. You got to go to where you're obviously trying to paste it to. Like with your with your move command, you do it all there in one command. It's one step to be able to do this. Um, now the move command is a little bit different than some of our other commands in that the move command expects multiple arguments. It doesn't just want one. It actually wants multiple arguments. And so with the move command, you can say what are the things that you want to move, All right? And you actually list them by their file path. So in my example, I say, well, I want to move my rice folder. I want to move my last name folder. So I could try moving this folder by saying move, and now I have to reference where's the rice folder. It's like, well, I could do a relative reference because it's right there in front of me. I could also give the absolute reference. I could say tilde slash desktop slash rice. Yeah, sure, same thing. Maybe, maybe I'll do the tilde notation. So that's the thing that I want to move. Now, after you've listed the things you want to move, and you could list multiple things if you wanted to cut and paste multiple things all at once. We'll practice that in a kind of a future activity. But if you want to move multiple things at once, you would just list all of them out. And now the last argument that you give has to be, where do you want to move them to? All right, so I'm going to say the rice folder, that's the thing I want to move. Where do I want to move it to? Oh, well, I said uh, maybe I'll put it inside the James folder. All right, so now I have to write out where's the reference to my James folder. And again, maybe I'll stick with the absolute references for now. I could do like a slash home, slash sandbox, slash desktop, slash James. And kind of the command starts to go off the screen, off the line, onto the next. It just starts wrapping around. That's fine. You just sort of let it go. All right. So as you start getting absolute references in your commands, it's very likely your command might start wrapping around. Not a big deal. But anyways, that that's well, let's give it a try. Let's see how it works. All right. So I type my move and hit enter. And it's like, well, I can cheat and look at the GUI and see that the thing already moved. Yeah, sure, that worked automatically. So if I do an LS now on my desktop, it's like, well, it's just the James folder. Is it actually inside the James folder? It's like, well, we could look inside the James folder from here, right? I, maybe I'll just do a relative reference. I could say LS of James, right? Hit tab and be like, yeah, there's the rice folder. It's inside there. And we can always kind of cheat and use the GUI and double click and be like, hey, yeah, there it is. We moved it inside. So again, think about what you could do with this. You could move anything on the computer anywhere with one step with one command you could say here's something in one place on the computer i want to move it to this place over here all right so again really powerful to be able to start understanding the command line because you'll have a lot of basic tasks that you could do with the mouse but you'll be able to do them faster with the command line if you start to understand these commands grabbing something from anywhere moving it to anywhere else and you as i mentioned you could move multiple things all at once i could grab things in different places and bring them all to my home directory all there right in one command all right so anyways that that's the move command um uh, we'll get some more practice like i said with that in the future uh, something else I'd like to emphasize is, well, what, what about a copy and paste? Like, that was a cut and paste. Cut and paste kind of a, got accomplished all, all there in one. Kind of the same as a drag and drop. Well, what if I wanted to copy? What if I wanted to have a copy of my rice folder inside my James folder, but I also want a copy here at my desktop? All right, so how could I have a copy both inside the rice folder as well as here on the desktop? Let's see if we can do that. All right, and this is going to be accomplished through the copy command, which is just CP, CP. So MV for move, CP for copy. All right, and it works very similarly. You would say, what are all the things you want to copy? And then the very last thing needs to be, where do you want to copy them to? All right, now we'll, we will notice this command will fail. I know it's going to fail here, but let, let's try it anyways, just so we can kind of kind of see what the error looks like. All right, so I'm going to say, what's the thing I want to move? Where is my rice folder right now? It's like, well, it's inside. Maybe I'll do a relative reference to it from here. All right, so I'll say it's inside the James folder, right? So I didn't start with slash. I just said the James folder because that's where it is on my desktop. And inside the James folder is the rice folder. That's the thing that I want to copy. Where do I want to copy it to? It's like, well, I want to copy it to my home slash desktop, tilde slash desktop. 
that's the place that I want to copy it to. So I'm kind of copying it out of my James folder and putting it back here on my desktop. So there's the two file paths that I need. And as I said, I know this is going to fail. Let's give it a try, though. And we'll see, hmm, dash r not specified omitting directory. All right. So here's a good example of one of our first options. So by default, your copy command doesn't copy directories. It's kind of designed just to copy files, unless you specify an additional option. So with the additional option, the dash R option, you can get it to also copy directories as well. All right, and so many times arguments are gonna be file names or file paths or folders or whatever that you passed in. A lot of times your options are gonna be these dash options. You're gonna have like a dash R and a dash A and a dash L and all these special little characters that it just takes a bunch of practice to kind of learn about many times you learn about these things through Google searches or through somebody else who knows a little more you know they kind of tell you hey yeah try this option and see if that gives you what you're looking for so all right so let's try this command again I'll do the copy command but this time like I said I'll add in the dash r option so I'm still doing CP I haven't changed my base command and this is a really common thing that new people do they do the CP dash r command it's like no 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 I want to do the CP command with the dash r option the spacing does matter so I'll do CP space and then dash r space and now we'll keep the same stuff we, we did before what's the thing i'm trying to copy where am i trying to copy it to so again maybe i'll do the the same reference of uh, james slash rice and i'll do maybe maybe i'll switch it up a little bit and i'll say slash home slash sandbox slash desktop right you could use tilde if you wanted same thing but now because i've specified the dash r option i now have that additional functionality of also copying the directories right it did not omit the directory of rice and so when i look here on the desktop it's like yes i have both what if I look inside the James folder? Is it still inside the James folder to actually make a copy of it? If I do an ls of James slash rice, or excuse me, if I just do an ls of James, it's like, yeah, there it is. There's the rice folder, all right, to be able to see that the, the, the rice folder is still inside the James folder, and I now have two of them. I now have a copy of them.